So this is our second hour of Friday briefing. Thank you very much for staying with us and crossing over if you have. Remember that this hour we still have quite some... Um, some uh, great things uh, packed up for you. Of course, we start up with the first person, and that happens to be Willis, the word master. You have been waiting for him all week. <laughs> I could tell from the tweets that I've been seeing on my timeline. Willis, good evening. It's great to see you tonight. How are you? Uh, fine, thanks, Betty. It's a great uh, night. Uh, in fact, from the work that you're doing, that side, that is from the Nairobi studio, or you can also say studio, uh, just <laughs> like already I've seen uh, Phoebe Achieng of Dunga Kisumu has asked me to repeat. Uh -huh. studio, studio, the British pronunciation, and studio, right. the American pronunciation. Betty, mm. how are you by every, you know, asking? Um, I'm great. Thank you very much, Willis, for, for asking. I'm doing great. Just a bit of a flu, but the show must go on. <laughs> All right. So, Willis, uh, we want to start uh, with a word on the street, and then we come back to the studio. <laughs> Ovo vai vir para as. Ovo vai vir para as. Ovo vai vir para as. Ovo vai ovo vai vir para as. Vai vir para as. Ovo vai vir para as. Ovo vai vir para as. Ovo vai 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 para as. Willis, where? So even honestly, I don't even know the correct pronunciation of that word. But those ones from uh, the streets, they've they, they've made my evening, uh, Willis. So let's go to the correct pronunciation, Willis, which I also don't know. Uh, so Betty, how do we this pronounce is that? A mouthful. Yeah. The word has so many letters, a multisyllabic, you know, word, if mm -hmm. I may use that term, and pronouncing the word is not very easy, Betty. Mm -hmm. You say. Ovovi. You say ovovi, then you say you have the stress. Viperas or viperas. Ovovi viperas or ovovi viperas. But when you say peras, you have the weak sound e. Pe. Peras. Ovovi viperas or ovovi viperas. And we are talking about, you know, this is a term that is used, especially in biology, when referring to the animals, mm -hmm. you know, that produce babies uh, by means of eggs that are hatched inside their bodies. So you use ovoviviparous or <laughs> ovoviviparous. Very tricky. It's so tricky, Willis, that I still do not know how to pronounce it. Ovo... <laughs> you can do some practice, <laughs> Betty. Ovoviparous. Is that correct? Ovovi. Ovovi viperas or ovovi viperas. Ovo so you have to, you know, go slow, handle it slowly. Yeah. Ovo the tricky part is ovovi viperas. Yeah. Yes. Ovovi. Yes. Okay. Ovovi viperas. Hey, Willis, this one was a tough one, honestly. At least you got it right now. <laughs> Ovovi viperas. Yeah, but this one was a tough one even to give to Kenyans on the street. Yes. Um, all right. That's but Willis, true. <laughs> moving on to this other word, I'll spell it out. A L I E N A T E. Alien. Is it alienate? Alienate. Which is which, Willis? Betty, what we should avoid is alienate. That is a common mispronunciation locally. Alienate. Alien. Aliens. Yeah. Alienation. We should avoid alia. You say uh -huh. alienate or alienate. Then alienation, uh -huh. aliens, and alien. Uh -huh. So that letter A takes the sound A. That is its name as the sound. Alienate. Alien. Alienation. Uh -huh. Alien. Aliens. Uh. We should be careful and we should not say alien. Uh -huh. We should not say alienate. alienate. We should not say alienation. So, <laughs> alien, All right. aliens, mm. alienate, alienation. Okay, Willis. Now we'll move on to this other word that um, you gave it uh, 
to me and to you know you want to teach people how to pronounce it correctly t r a g e d i e double n e tra tra tragedian but yeah, there is a very very you know there's a big reason why i brought this word for tonight yeah that is a word that i personally brought up we have the word tragedy yes we have tragedies like when we talk about plays and all that or movies for that matter uh -huh. then we have you know you may have a female actor in those tragedies mm -hmm. and the word for that female actor in english is tragedian oh, okay. tragedian Tragedian. which is very tricky but yeah. we have tragedy uh -huh. we don't say tragedy okay we say tragedy mm. but tragedian. tragedian just like we talk yeah. of comedy mm -hmm. and you say comedian not comedian and okay. you don't say comedian the way many people say locally uh -huh. comedy comedian comedian Media. not median comedian yes and comedian. comedian very tricky words and that is where when you learn the english phonology that is the sound system or the speech sounds of english mm -hmm. it would be easier for you to pronounce some of these tricky words mm. so comedy comedian uh -huh. comedian comedian tragedy tragedian no tragedian all right I've, yes. I, we've learned a new word, Willis. Thank you for that. Moving on to this other word, S-M-O-T-H-E-R. Um, do we say smother, smother, like um, how a mom can smother her baby with kisses? Is it smother or smother? <laughs> Don't say smother. Smother, oh. no. If you say smother, uh -huh. that is like saying my mother, <laughs> my mother. Yeah. And it's so? my mother. You smother somebody with something, oh. not smother. So that letter O uh -huh. takes the mid-central sound uh, just like in the word mother. Then okay. you say smother. But smother. commonly what we hear is smother, yeah. smother. So we should avoid smother uh -huh. and say smother, to smother okay. somebody. And that word also means to suffocate mm. somebody, like to smother somebody with a pillow. Mm. That is to suffocate somebody or to, you know, at that point, mm -hmm. what we should avoid is saying sma. Okay. You say sma, smother. Smother. Yes. Well, Willis, that's a surprise because yes. I was very sure it's going to be smother, but I mean, English surprise, surprise. English pronunciations are full of surprises, Betty. Yeah. Interesting. So it's sm yes. smother with kisses smother. and mother of love. Smother. All right. <laughs> Just like mother. Yeah. Don't say mother. Mother. If you listen to the English from West Africa, you may hear mother, mother, <laughs> and all that. Yeah. But the correct or accurate pronunciation is mother. Smother. You also say smother, smother. not smother. All right. I know it's a surprise to many people. Betty. It is a it is a surprise to me too. All right, Willis. Moving on to this other word. Um, S. Sorry. R e s i d u e s residues. Is that the correct pronunciation? Residues. Betty, we should say residues the okay. way you have said it. All right. Residues. Residues. And by the way, Betty, uh -huh. we have the verb say, but don't say says the way many people say, you know, or, you know, pronounce that word. Mm -hmm. The verb is say, but you say says, not says, not says. Don't use the glide in says. When and you also say mm -hmm. said, not said said he said this he says he is ready to take up the challenge he says not he says but we say say for the verb so such words are a <laughs> bit right. tricky i'm talking about inflections okay. changing the form of a word for grammatical function uh -huh. sometimes you have the partial changes in pronunciation betty but <laughs> for your word we say residues residues, residues not right. residues Going back to that word, says. So you, so you, yes. so you say he, so you say he says. He no, wait. So you say he says, but wait. I'm even confused. Will <laughs> take take us through that again? So he says. Betty. Or he says. <laughs> Can I make it uh, simpler for you? Please. Yeah. Betty. Mm-hmm. 
Can you say something? That is the verb, okay. say, S-A-Y, okay. say. Say something. But then when we have S-A-Y-S, okay. Betty says she is ready to do the job. Okay. Betty says, All not right. says. Okay. Which is very common locally. Got it. Yeah. Then the past tense or the past participle form of that verb say, mm -hmm. you don't now pronounce it as said. You say said. Betty said she is or she was ready for the job. Okay. Betty said, okay. not said, the way we commonly say it locally. Okay, got so, it. So say, says, says said. It. Okay, got it. Say. Do you get says, it now? said yes <laughs> that is it betty yeah there's a bit of a um, yeah but go, I've, I've gotten it willis thanks yes <laughs> moving on to thanks actually it's supposed to be thanks right thanks. you can say thanks if you're inclined to the american english betty there is nothing not. wrong you know sometimes you know small or the minor errors in pronunciation should not bother you much okay but if you choose the british english pronunciation or rp for that matter uh -huh. just say thank thank Thanks, Thank you. bank, banks, right. rank, ranks, tank, tanks. Okay. Don't say tanks. tanks. Don't or say ranks. Just say bank. tanks, ranks, tanks. Okay. Got that it. That is it, Betty. Got it, Willis. Move, so, 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 yeah, I've gotten it. Moving on to this other word, Willis. I know this word as initiative. Is there a surprise pronunciation for this one? Initiative. Well, simply initiative Inici initiative. initiative but initiative. what confuses many people is initiative that glide is not there just the way you've said it initiative 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 mm. where we have the glide is the word absentia in absentia that uh, one the glide is acceptable mm -hmm. you don't say in absentia you say okay. in absentia. absentia but for such words you say initiative militia not militia Oh, militia, militia, initiative. A bit tricky, Betty. That is why I always say studying the phonology of English. Very, very useful. <laughs> but because we have you, Willis, at least we have a shortcut or a way out somehow. <laughs> Willis, moving on to this other word. Um, causeway yeah, or causeway. Which is which, Willis? You say cause. 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 Not cause. Causeway, causeway. no. Mm -hmm. Causeway, yes. Okay. Causeway. Causeway. Yes. Willis, moving on to this other one. Do we say prevalence, prevalence? Uh, which is which? We have the word prevail, that verb, mm -hmm. prevail, to prevail. But when we have prevalence, we should avoid saying pre. Prevalence, mm -hmm. no. You now say pre. Prevalent prevalence and prevalence. All right. But we have the verb prevail. Mm. Got it, Willis. Yes. Prevalence it is. Moving to our feedback question, and it comes from Kevin Nomolo of Nairobi, sorry, of Moore University. He's a student there. A stu student. And he's asking about this word, N-I-C-E-T-I-E-S. Uh, how do we go about it, Willis? Oh, you say niceties. Nice. Niceties. Okay, not niceties. Don't say nice ties. Nice ties, no. <laughs> nice ties. Niceties. Niceties. So Kevin Nomolo of Moy University, Eldoret, mm. and all our viewers who love accurate or acceptable English pronunciations, mm -hmm. that word is niceties. 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 Mm. Then Sabina Naliaka of Kakamega, if I may take over now from you the feedback questions. Uh -huh. Sabina Naliaka of Kakamega, you say an ogre, not an ogre. But you must have heard ogre, especially when you are, you know, at the primary level of education, that is primary school. Yeah. Many people talk of the ogre. Ogre, no. That is the spelling. That is what you see. But Sabina Naliaka of Kakamega, you say an ogre, an ogre. ogre. Then Abdallah Juma of Kongowea, Mombasa, the verb is rebel. To rebel against authority, mm -hmm. to rebel. Mm -hmm. But don't call somebody a rebel. <laughs> a person is a rebel, rebel or rebel. You also talk of rebel movement, a rebel movement, not a rebel movement. But rebel. the verb is rebel. Right. 
General Tito Okello Jr. Betty, there is a word here which has been, you know, disturbing so many people. Okay. G-E-N-R-E. Mm -hmm. Many people talk of Jenna. Some say Gina. <laughs> some say Jonah. Mm -hmm. Some say Jonah. But we should get it right. This word, you know, it originates from French. So General Tito Okello Jr. and our viewers, you say genre. Genre. Genre, genre. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm. Genre. genre. When you are talking about music or, you know, artistic work and all that, especially music, you talk of the genre. Yeah. Karen Kipron of Bomet, you say boutique, not boutique. Okay. Boutique is very common locally, but the correct pronunciation is boutique. Boutique. Thomas Mutua of Kitui, yes, boutique, boutique. Mm. Then Thomas Mutua of Kitui, xylophone, Paris and Lois Njoroge of Laikipia, you say Palm Sunday. Okay. Palm Sunday, palm not Sunday. Palm Sunday. That L is silent, mm -hmm. but many people find themselves pronouncing it when they are saying that word. You say Palm, don't say Palm. Okay. And also, it's wrong for you to say Calm, say Calm. Calm, calm. not Calm. All right, we Palm, listen. not Palm. All right. Yusuf Galmogle, Panacea and Anecdote. Panacea, then anecdote. Moha Funky, Betty, our brothers Funky. and sisters from Northeastern, is yes, like yes, yes. they are always there. Mm. Moha Funky, chrysanthemum, uh, I beg your pardon, you say chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum, but you can also say xanthemum, chrysanthemum or chrysanthemum. All right, so then we say chow hound, not chow hound. <laughs> chow hound. Chow hound. Aggrandizement. Mm -hmm. Yes. Chow hound. Then aggrandizement and chores. Keno catch. Picturesque. Picturesque. Don't say pictures cue. Mm. Picturesque. Picturesque. You also say harang, not harangwe or harangyu. Right. Phoebe Achieng of Dunga, or oh, this lady of Kisumu Dunga, is still interested in the studio. And studio. Studio, studio Betty, right, by the way, is commonly used in American mm. English. Okay. Studio is British. So, Phoebe Cheng, that is it. Norman Makoha, you say wind hook. Wind hook, not wind or heck. <laughs> when we are talking about <laughs> that yeah. capital of Namibia. Mm. Okay. Wind hook or wind hook. Then you say vitamins, mm -hmm. but the Americans say, or in American English, it is vitamins. Vita in British, All right, we'll vitamins. Finally, Finally yes. Uyo Jirmo Bidu, you say surreptitious, surreptitious. Mm. And now we come to a very, very, you know, common but tricky word. All right. Betty. Let's take that on full screen. This adjective. Yes. I'm sure you hear many people talking of maniacal, but you say may. Mm -hmm. Maniacal, mm. maniacal, very tricky. Mm -hmm. Maniacal. I've uh, done the phonetic transcription down there, mm -hmm. and those who understand the IPA, that is the International Phonetic Alphabet, yes. can easily understand how to pronounce it. Maniacal. Don't say maniacal, don't say maniacal. Mm -hmm. Maniacal. Remember, we have the word mania, that is the upper word, mania. Don't say mania. Mania, then a maniac. Okay. Maniac, then you say maniacal, like somebody who laughs funnily, uh, you know, in uh, a wild way. All right, you can talk of a maniacal, maniacal laughter. All right. Then, finally, Betty, yes. the confusing words. We have, they are very common, but many people talk of kettle when they mean cattle. Mm. So the upper word is cattle. C-A-T-T -T -T, or T-T -T if you like. Mm -hmm. L-E. C-A-T-T-L-E -T -T -E, or C-A-T-T-L-E you say cattle. Cattle. Don't talk of cattle. If you talk of cattle then you are referring to the lower word. All right. Cattle for T but we talk of cattle. Wow. Confusing words. But as I always say dear viewers, English is a bit <laughs> tricky, mm. especially for us as non-native speakers. Yes. But it's not impossible for you to master the standard pronunciation of English words. All right. Try your best. Consult those who are good at the English phonology 
they can help you a great deal if you are in careers or in a career serious of serious communication. communication. Betty, All right. let English be English. <laughs> let English be English, Willis, for sure. Thank you so much, Willis, the word master. They're joining us uh, from Kisum City, uh, just teaching us those difficult pronunciations like you've heard there. Um, I wish I could remember the first word, the word on the street there, but I'll try and remember it uh, later on. But thank you for uh, watching.